Qadri having sent a stab of anxiety through the ruling class in Pakistan, a point that even Hamza was taking us through. But should a Pakistan cleric's lavishly funded publicity blitz and his million man march for change raise fears in Delhi? It should, because the murmurs about his hidden agenda, his timing, his motives are getting stronger with each passing day. Masquerading as an agent for change could be a Pakistan military stooge, an agent of the army who's playing a dangerous game of provocation with India. He is the face of Pakistan's Million Man March. But is he bad news for India? There are strong murmurs that Qadri is taking his commands from the Pakistan army. A month ago, Mohammad Tahirul Qadri was living quietly in Canada, busy with affairs of his Islamic charity. But he suddenly returned to join the pre-election power games in Islamabad and suspicion is strong that he's acting at the behest of the generals. Could he be a prototype informally sponsored by the military? The evidence points in that direction. From his fiery speeches, Qadri has made it clear that he can help derail the democratic transition in Pakistan. He praises the army no end and could well be their proxy for running the country's affairs. And that he's seen to be more pliable than Imran Khan is something that could make him the army's best bet. 91 persons were deseated, kicked out from the parliament by the judgment of the Supreme Court of Pakistan because they were dishonest and they filed fake degrees of their education while filing the nomination papers. Supreme Court has remained now only two institutions are there in Pakistan who are functioning and performing their duties to fulfill the needs of the people. One is the judiciary of Pakistan and one are the armed forces of Pakistan and nothing else. They have wasted and brought a bad name to our armed forces, those armed forces who are highly sincere, highly competent and highly capable and highly professional to save the ideology of Pakistan, to save our geographical limits of Pakistan and to save the independence and solidarity of Pakistan. But even they can't do anything because the political government is unable to deliver anything for this land. He is the new wild card in Pak's power struggle and if backed by the army, his rise must ring alarm bells in India. Wave of bombings across Pakistan and heightened tensions with India. Qadri is leading a protest at a delicate time. On the face of it's about the desperate desires of ordinary Pakistanis for a change. But his push for a caretaker government resonates with some in the security establishment and inspires aspirations to cast on his motives and timings. This is Amzah Amir in Islamabad for Headlines Today.